Hello everyone, welcome back to Fight Tonight channel. After disappointing pay-per-view buys versus Frank Martin, Insider says Cervante Davis desperately needs to fight a boxing legend. Last weekend Cervante Davis took home the win against Frank Martin, but the pay-per-view numbers fell way short of impressive. At least that's what boxing insider Rick Glazer says while highlighting Gervonta Davis need to face Shakur Stevenson. Glazer alleges Gervonta Davis vs Frank Martin did less than 200k pay-per-view. Turning to social media earlier today, Rick Glazer suggested if Gervonta Davis does not fight Shakur Stevenson next, he is most likely ducking him. As to why Davies needs him, Glazer explained it, Gervonta needs a well-known dance partner to sell pay-per-view going forward, adding like when Davies fought Ryan Garcia in April last year. When a user jumped in to defend Davies, suggesting Gervonta fights only the best and could sell our arenas and pay-per-view by rematching Crowley, Rick Laser responded claiming that Davis vs. Martin fight did not do 200k pay-per-views. It's also worth mentioning that the official numbers for the fight haven't been revealed as of the time of rating, so Glazer is speculating at best. However, the prices for the pay-per-view were expensive, so there is a chance the numbers may come out lower than usual. Gervonta Davis responds to Garcia's rematch request. After Davis delivered an absolute clinic on Saturday night, Ryan Garcia made his way to the ring to congratulate Davis and shared a wholesome moment with Davis while showing his t-shirt, rematch me Gervonta. Later, during the press conference for the fight, Davis shed light on their conversation. When one of the reporters in the crowd brought it up, Davis said, he's crazy, elaborated on his point, Davis explained it, he is crazy talking about rematch, he said it was the best at 35 to 42 pounds, he said that, he said he wants to fight me again, I'll fight him again, Gervonta said. Ryan Garcia also took shots at Davis on social media, writing, I will hurt this guy. Ryan Garcia said. Lightweight champion WBA Gervonta Davis has proven his tolerance after crushing his challenger Frank Martin in seven rounds at the MGM Grand Garden Arena Las Vegas last Saturday. The victory was Davis' fifth success since winning him almost five years ago. At the time, Davis won the vacant title by winning TKO over Yuri Orkis Gandoa in round 12 in Atlanta, December 2019. It is interesting to pick up the opponent Davis will face next. The 29-year-old boxer nicknamed The Tank was unbeaten in 13 matches, 28 of which he won by KO or TKO. The first name that deserves to be put forward is Shakur Stevenson, the silver winner for the US at the 2016 Rio Olympics is now the WBC Lightway champion. The Stevenson vs. Davies duo will be exciting because it is the unification of the title. Moreover, they have complained to each other challenged each other on social media. Can't wait to shock the world. Remember everything y'all say now. Chasing grain as Shakur Stevenson said. Then there is the name Tiafima Lopez. He is junior welterweight champion WBO, so Davies must advance to one class if he is willing to do against Lopez. Although he is often criticized as a money boxer because he always demands very expensive pay for the grand match. Lopez is the opponent who deserves Davies. William Zepeda is the last name to be worthy of a duel against Gervonta. This Mexican boxer has a record as Davies 32s without losing 26 KO wins. Zepeda's name is currently on the rise thanks to the explosive performance in the ring. One shortfall that Zepeda has, he has not become world champion yet. Shauna Molly predicts Naka win over Gervonta Davies just days after Frank Martin's devastating loss. Looks like the Frank Martin KO does not even scare Shauna Molly. Gervonta Davies 
put on a masterclass last week count against Martin by knocking him out cold and retaining his WBA lightweight champion. But the UFC Batman Way champ still believes he could beat Gervonta. This seems to be a recurrent team for Saga, who wants to try his hand in the boxing ring with some 12 ounce gloves. Being a Conor McGregor fan, Omoli wants to replicate this excess. The Notorious, had by fighting Floyd Mayweather, and uh, in today's age, Davis is the best draw in boxing. The idea is simple, boxing has fighters, unions and hence proper management reps who ensure boxers get paid a fair price for their skills. Millions, and while Dana White has often complained about how money has ruined boxing, the fact remains that UFC fighters cannot stop angling for the boxing kind of payday. Because in point, Sean O'Malley, in a recent podcast episode alongside his head coach Tim Welch, the champ reacted to the fight against Frank Martin and said, Well, let's get into some UFC news, we are done with that boxing. I would knock Gervonta out, let's just end in on that. Despite O'Malley's self-belief as one of the best strikers in the UFC, boxing is an entirely different sport. And Gervonta Davis knocks people off for fun. Gervonta is a world champion, so unless O'Malley has suddenly learned to box. Yes, UFC boxing is mostly just throwing hands. Boxing and Huawei's complex movements very different from MMA. So to reiterate, unless O'Malley suddenly learned how to box like a pro, Gervonta could make it look easy easy. However, Sugar still makes fan of the boxing champ any chance he gets. Mostly, he just kept making fan of Davies for being short. Sean O'Malley ridiculous Gervonta Davies and gives timeline for a potential fight. Sean O'Malley wants to fight in the boxing ring while in his prime and it's something he believes is a long time coming. Now Dana White is not exactly happy when UFC fighters move tariffs while still signed with the company, so there will be very little wiggle room, even for O'Malley. That said, White is often seen willing to make a move if the right star comes along. He was on board for the McGregor and Mayweather fight since it has the box's biggest and the world taking on UFC's most famous face. So an Emily Davis fight is not impossible to set up, but the UFC will need a lot more assurances. So in a podcast episode with the Team Welch, Sugar gave fans a timeline for a potential fight. He in a 5-5, I bet he is 5-4. It's happening tough, me versus Gervonta in 5 years, swear, I can knock out him, I really believe that, 135 pounds? I would KO him, that would be legendary fight. Sean Emily seems adamant about making this fight with Gervonta Davis, but right now? Mirab Dwalishwili is coming for his head after being disrespected by the champ on multiple occasions. When the latter told he could only have a big money fight, Gervonta Davis, on the other hand, has a hard waiting to wrap his belt off him. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.